Graphic portraits of recent asylum seekers on a barge silently floating past New York's Statue of Liberty. And on San Francisco Bay, past Angel Island, the Ellis Island of the West. Visual artist Shimon Addy's floating electronic canvas is as much about engaging people in the current refugee crisis as it is about getting them to reflect on it. The common theme in my work is usually to give voice to undertold, underrepresented histories, marginalized communities, those who have been dispossessed, uh, those who have been persecuted. From projecting images of displaced shops in what once was Berlin's Jewish quarter before World War II. In the case of that particular installation, that Hebrew bookstore was located precisely there. I think that was 1930, that photograph that I projected. To light boxes highlighting the ongoing tensions between Palestinians and Israelis in the occupied West Bank. The cityscape overall in the distance or the, or the natural landscape in the distance is part of the canvas as well. Visual artist Shimon Addy relies on a variety of media and public art to draw attention to displaced and marginalized cultures. My hope is to perhaps give the audience an opportunity to have a new experience, to experience a familiar subject matter in a new way. A former psychotherapist, Addy includes what's called urban archaeology to his mm. process of recovering lost histories of people and bringing them back into view and our consciousness through his multimedia installations. The reality is that much of my work does seek to articulate a shared common humanity between different groups of people. Early in his career, he researched the genealogy of Manhattan's Lower East Side, a melting pot for Italian, Jewish, and Chinese immigrants who shared with him their stories and common experience of having to leave their home for somewhere else. The laser ride out technique, the unseen hand, right? It's happening in real time, as it, almost like as if a ghost is writing. And then once the entire thought or reflection is written out, then it unwrites like disappearing ink. You know, when people talk about the medium being the message, mm. the medium of the water, mm. the medium of an LED screen mm -hmm, on the mm -hmm, water, mm -hmm. on a barge, mm -hmm. is that the art in itself? No. When I think media, I, I also think aesthetics. And I think that the aesthetics are part of the message uh, because I'm not a politician. I'm not an activist, per se. I'm an artist. His video installation of a group of recent Syrian refugees Playing roulette captures the uncertainty and risks they faced just weeks earlier while making their perilous crossing to Europe in small boats. As prevalent as the refugee crisis is, do you think people are kind of numb to the images of people in stress and displacement and you need to take them outside that normal realm of the news coverage? Definitely, absolutely, 100%. And that's, that's the potential of, art, of contemporary art, right? To, to put forward new representations, new images, uh, a new way of considering a familiar subject matter. An alliance of San Francisco Bay Area arts and human rights organizations recently featured Shimon Addy's work and others focusing on immigration and animation of an Iraqi exodus in ancient Mesopotamia by visual artist Zaina Baraket used San Francisco's tallest building for her canvas. Water is a very amazing medium to work with. Number one, it's always changing. It's fleeting. It's constantly in movement. It's in terms of social history. It's very often been the media for escape. Emigration, immigration, fleeing for one's life, being welcomed, welcomed into a new homeland. The former immigration center on Angel Island in San Francisco Bay was everything but a welcoming place for Asians migrating to California after the gold rush. Now a museum, some of them were initially interned in these holding barracks for nearly two years until they could complete a complicated sponsorship process. I respond to places and spaces mm -hmm. and architecture and tangible concrete locations that I can touch and that I can move my own body through. Touch it. So the sense of, of place is very important in my work. 
My name is Sergey and I'm originally from Kazakhstan. My name is Niurka Melendez. I'm here because I fled my country, Venezuela. The 12 refugees from seven countries featured in the Night Watch installation had recently been granted asylum in the U.S. The refugees' video portraits were designed to draw more attention than sympathy. I try to avoid handing over the emotional goods in a simplistic kind of way, which will make the viewer feel either sympathetic or em empathetic or pull away or frightened. Like in a gallery, his floating exhibit in very public spaces was viewed in collective silence, leaving each person to reflect on the images and what they represent. I'm looking at you. You're looking at me. I'm looking at you. You're looking at me. And each viewer makes their own meaning from that experience. One of those rare moments when political art and just its stunning yeah. aesthetics have come together um, in a way that is so powerful. We're living through probably the greatest refugee crisis since World War II. Over 80 million people displaced or refugees. This issue is not going away. Do you think your art will continue to focus on this? I do. I tend to respond to the issues that I care most deeply about, and I, I don't think that I'll start caring less about helping those that are most in need. Photographs of Shimon Addy's refugee installations are on display in San Francisco and New York galleries. For the PBS NewsHour, I'm Mike Saray in San Francisco.